Hey guys, I'm back in the studio today and I'm playing with the K2 Plus a little bit. You can see I've got it on a cart. We filmed some video this morning, but I wanted to show you something that we've already printed for it. Uh, upgrade. It's a poop shoot catcher, poop trap, I don't know what you call it. Uh, they've put two magnets in it because the back is metal. So we can just adjust it where we want it there. You see here, where do we put the poop chute? Right there. Held on by magnets. It's even got a Creality logo on it. So hopefully they include that STL with the printer when they finally ship it. Now, there's a USB cable that runs from the printer to the CFS. And then it goes from here to the filament sensor. Now here is four different inserts. So you could have four CFSs all going into here. So that would be 16. That's how they get 16 filaments. In case you're wondering. I'm sure you all know this already. You just like watching vi videos of this machine because you've got one ordered. All the pre-orders have gone so well all sold out. So here you have four kilos of filament. We've got full full rolls of filament. That's your maximum is four one kilogram spools. And let me see if I can get good video of this. Oh yeah, there you go. See that? A little compartment underneath the filament. Let's set this filament down. Try not to break anything. Using my hands, see that you guys? You're asking if we could use it as a dry box. You could use it as a storage box. It won't actively dry the filament, but absolutely can keep desiccant in there, no problem. See the gears turning when I move that filament. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't have it plugged in right now. Somebody else was asking about this, you guys. This glass lid. Is this going to be too heavy for it? You would not believe how light this is. It's got four kilograms of filament in it right now. And I feel like it weighs less than four kilograms. It's super light. There's not a lot. There's not a lot there. So it's pretty lightweight. They are not worried about it at all, sitting on top of this glass lid. Of course, you can put it wherever you want. It doesn't have to sit on top of the printer because you could have four of them connected to each other. You're not gonna stack four high. So that's the answer to that question. The Creality logo on the side, can you see it? I'm gonna give it a twist so we can look inside. I want this to be the most extensive video that you have seen about the printer you bought. You guys are interested in this because you bought it. We've already sold 1,700 of them at this point right now. So that's an exhaust fan. That's an exhaust fan. Looks like a heater to me. I like that. I'm trying to get you guys every possible angle.
is right there. I like it actually, I like the camera like that. Cover back on, easy peasy. They could redesign that. They could put the Creality symbol on there for all I know. Still time for that. You can see they scratched off. Uh, they had them misprinted. <laughs> the first time we got this one into the uh, studio, it had the big wrong numbers on there. The actual space, you know, is 350 by 350 by 350. That's the size of that gold plate. All square all the way back. Let's see, they've been working with this one already. You know I don't want to break it. Boy, there's a cooling fan on this side and a cooling fan on this side. In addition to the two fans taking it out the back, there's two lights in here. I don't have it plugged in, but there's a light strip up above here. You can see it right there. And then there's another one at the front here behind us. that any of this is going to be exactly the same they could still refine it when it finally goes to production but right now it's looking so good that's it that's the k2 plus in a nutshell thanks guys